<clears throat> YouTube. Ballyhoo. Ballyhooligans. Wait for some peeps to show up. We got one. We got one. All right. <laughs> 12. We got 12. What's going on, YouTubes? How's it going, man? Uh, so I was just over on the, uh, the Howie Spangler YouTube and Facebook, but I wanted to bring this message over here as well to the Ballyhoo page. Um, we got a new song coming out next Friday, May 22nd. It's called Social Drinker. And um, you can pre-save it right now. You can pre-save it at Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer, Tidal. What up, 0056? What up, William? Joshua, Six Mile Titan. Robert, what's going on? Essential worker. I, we appreciate you. We appreciate you listening. We're glad we can help uh, make the days a little bit shorter because these are long days, right? What up, Aubrey? I did come back. That's right. I'm bouncing all over the internet today. I'm going to go on Instagram next. It's going to be great. I should go on my TikTok too. I don't have it. I have a TikTok, but I don't have any followers. I don't dance, you know? So it's like tough. It's tough. It's tough when you're not a dancer or not in a TikTok world. Um, so yeah, I want to get the message out to everybody. Uh, right now, you can pre-save the new song. It just went live. Uh, well, the pre-save just went live. Uh, you get it Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, and Deezer. And when you get there, if you wouldn't mind, <clears throat> if you wouldn't mind, um, hit, the, uh, hit the follow the band button. There's a picture of us there, if you wouldn't mind hitting that. And, uh, and then add the song to whatever playlist you want. Like any playlist you have, add the song to a playlist and then hit okay or submit or whatever it is. Um, we appreciate it. It helps bands. It, it helps the band uh, in so many ways. Um, Spotify is probably the leader in, you know, pushing music out to new listeners. And the more pre-saves we have on, on day one, um, the more streams, the more followers we have, uh, all of that, it adds up and it, it says to the algorithm like, Oh, this is a popular song. This band must be dope. More people need to hear this band and they put it out there to, to more people. So yeah. Aubrey, I think I did pout for TikTok followers. That was a trick. You saw right through me. Eric, what's up from Brazil, man? Awesome. Thanks for thanks for watching. Jack, what's going on? Um, yeah, so right here, Social Drinker. Uh, it's a song about um it's a song about the feeling of not wanting to drink anymore, like kind of being over it. Like when you get to a certain age, you know, you feel like, oh no, right? And you want to uh you just want to drink water, you know? And so, and what happens is your friends call you and you're, they're like, they're like, bro, we're going to, well, now it's like, bro, zoom five o'clock, you know, zoom party. And, uh, you know, people are cracking beers and they're drinking wine and drinking whiskey. And it's like, man, I, I'd like to have a, I'd like to have that in, in my belly right now, coursing through my veins. And, uh, Nowadays for me, it's like, I'll feel that way. And then as I'm drinking, I'm just like, Ugh, I don't even like this anymore. I don't like the way that it makes me feel or anything like that. So, um, and then your day is ruined because as an almost 40 year old, uh, hangover suck. Right. So now, now I'm like, Oh, that this uh, kind of feel bad. And then the next morning I got shit to do, but I can't cause I'm like, Ugh, right. So it's just kind of that. It's about that feeling of not wanting to feel that anymore. And, uh, you know, you hate your friends, but you don't hate your friends kind of thing. Um, and how being an, an adult is hard. Ben, yeah, I don't know what's up with that, man. That's weird. You can't comment on the Facebook. Uh, everything's public over there. Like, I don't know. Um, yeah. 
Kid from yesterday, thank you so much for pre-saving. I appreciate that. Aubrey, thank you very much for pre-saving. That's awesome. Sullivan, we'd love to go to Brazil. That'd be amazing. Hopefully, um, we'll make that happen at some point. Uh, you know, when things open back up, we would love to go to Brazil. So um, just keep keep listening to the music. Keep telling your friends. You know, we appreciate that. So if you wouldn't mind uh, giving this video a like and subscribing, that'd be great too. Ballyhoo uh, Bally, Bally needs all the help we can get. And the fans are awesome. And you guys make it happen for us. So thank you for the support. Uh, Six Mile Titan says, how soon can touring start? Um, you know, to be honest, I, I, I don't, I don't really know. I really don't know. Um, it's, I don't think we're going to, you know, if things open up in the next month or two, I don't think we're going to be one of the first to rush out there and just join the parade. Uh, you know, we're, we're the type that we're, we're definitely thinking about health and some people are you know, upset and freaking out about the, the, you know, having to be locked down and stuff. But uh, we're seeing it as, you know, just let this run its course and let's not have it pop up again in the fall if everybody goes out. Um, so we may just lay low for a while. Um, and, you know, and if any bands want to go out there and, and, and rock it and see what happens, that that's fine. But we will probably hang back. Um, that's just my guess um reggae rise up is still a thing right now october 2nd in florida so we'll see how things are by then you know but we're not rushing right out so we're gonna keep doing live streams and making cool content for you guys anthony thank you sir appreciate it um but uh yeah so yeah social drinker it's very fun it's uh billy cottage from the interrupters plays trombone on it and it's, it, he did a great job. And and the band, uh, I had written this song a while back, uh, probably late 2019. And um, I, uh, it was acoustic for a while. I knew I wanted to do something with it. And then the band made it, they made it nice and big and fat and full. And, and uh, the tones sound great. And I'm very proud of the mix. Uh, I think it turned out awesome. And it just has that fun, you know, that fun Ballyhoo vibe, that Ballyhoo sound that I think everybody has come to know. So Sullivan says daydreams live a couple weeks ago was amazing. Thanks bro. Yeah, that was, um, that was a killer time. It really was. Uh, it brought back a lot of memories and we were, uh, you know, I was, I was stressing. I was definitely stressing the week of the daydreams show because we haven't played at least four, maybe five of those songs in a very long time. And you kind of rely on muscle memory to, to save you in certain moments. My problem is I think too much. And when, once you start thinking, that's when you start messing things up and it all goes to hell. Right? So, uh, I practiced and I, we went over it and it, it, it went down a lot better than I thought it was. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching that. Uh, the next stream is, uh, May 21st, next Thursday. Um, and we're just going to be, we're calling it shipwreck Two, the sequel. Um, so it's just going to be, uh, just a, a show playing, playing the hits and some deep, deep cuts and, uh, just trying to put on a rock and show, you know? Um, play some things we haven't played in a while or never really ever played stuff like that. Try to keep it fun and exciting. Um, and, uh, next month we'll think of something else. So thank you guys for tuning in. Deck, are you going to reggae rise up right on? Yeah, man. Uh, hopefully things are, things are semi normal back then when maybe we're all going to be wearing masks, but it is an outside outdoor event. So I don't know, you know, I don't know what they're going to say about any of this stuff. Shipwreck two electric boogaloo. Ah, what, what a, uh, missed opportunity. What a missed opportunity. Thank you, Joshua. God, why did I think of that? You know, shipwreck two electric ballyhoo. Ah, 
So many things. There's so many things I could have done. Uh, let's see. Eric says an incredible idea would be to record a video clip on one of the beaches in Brazil. They're all be uh, dude. Yeah. Can we stay with you? Like if we come down there, can we stay with you? And do you have the COVID? Cause that's going to be a factor as well. Um, but if you're clear on both of those things, we might be able to make it happen. Uh, 360 cam. Yeah, that'd be great. I would love to pull off 360 cam. I don't know if it's going to happen. Um, you know, we try to make these things cool every time. And, uh, you know, we, the, it's going to look different now as well. They've got uh, the production studio that we're going uh, to. They've uh, moved some things around. Uh, and they usually get some new gear each time just to kind of step it up and make it cooler. So, you know, we'll see. Six Mod Titan says, any plans for another boat cruise? I missed it with 311. Oh, yeah. You know, does anybody want to be on a boat right now? I mean, like a, with with like 3,000 people? I don't know. But, um, you know, obviously not right now. I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, I mean, dude, 311 cruises are amazing. I'll never go on a different cruise. I'll never go on a regular cruise. 311 cruise is my cruise, you know. Um, and uh, the people are amazing. And um, it's just... You know, those are super fun. So it depends on what those guys think. You know, they're going to do what they feel is best. And uh, if they ask us to come back, we will certainly consider it. Snowy, I am live again. I had to go live on the value page to talk about this as well. So I've got to get the word out, you know. Uh, everybody, we're talking about the brand new song, Social Drinker by Ballyhoo. It's coming out next Friday, May 22nd. You can pre-order it or pre-save it right now at Spotify. Apple Music, title, and Deezer. And uh, pre-orders are going to, for iTunes, will be live as well, I think, uh, end of the week. But we are pushing pre-saves because we believe in, we here at Ballyhoo LLC believe in streaming. We embrace it. We adore it. Uh, we know that it is, it is the future. It is now and it is the future. Uh, so we're very big on um, pushing, pushing the Spotify links and Apple Music links uh, to our listeners because it, uh, ultimately helps the band great greater than any download or CD purchase. Um, it, it, what I was explaining earlier was that uh, a CD is great at the shows. It's like a piece of merchandise, and you um, will you will buy this for the from the band for ten dollars, and they will sign it for you, and you will take it home. But on your way home, you'll go like this, and you'll play it on your phone on Spotify or Apple Music, right? Um, and that's great. Uh, you, that 10 bucks then goes into the gas tank and we go to the next city, right? That's what that's for. That's what CDs are now. And then an iTunes download is wonderful. You feel like you own it because you don't want to rent your music, right? Some of you, some of you don't want to rent your music. You want to own it. You want to have the MP3 and do what you want with it. But that happens once on the band side. You buy that MP3, it's forever. It happens once, right? And when you, every time you listen to that MP3, uh, it doesn't do anything for the band in the long run. So streaming, every time you stream at least 30 seconds of a song, you are doing something wonderful for the band. Not that those other things aren't wonderful because they do help, but streaming is a long game thing. It's, it's into the future and it creates, uh, every time you listen, it like rocks the boat, right? This this is supposed to be a boat right now with my fingers. I don't know what this is right now. Or maybe it's a swelling sort of thing, but maybe this is just everything, right? This is just everything, everything you know, right? So the algorithm's like this. It's like, oh, here we go. Oh, Bally's getting some streams. Oh, this is cool. Oh, oh, they're getting a lot of streams. Oh, 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 there's... And then right here, all these people that... This is all you guys, right? This is everybody else in the world, right? It's just like this. Oh. Oh, there it goes. And look, 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 everybody now. It's that's what the algorithm does. It sees it, it gets bigger, and it's like it starts pushing it out. Um, because you guys are listening to it so much, right? That's what happens. That's why I tell bands all the time to stream, uh, push your fans to stream. Uh absolutely, if you'd like, 
you know, tell people they want to pre-order because that, that option is there, but streaming is where it's at. Streaming is zero waste. Yeah, I like that as well, Jen. Uh, no, it's just, um, yeah, the 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 ten bucks, like I said, it it certainly helps the band on buying a CD or buying a download. Um, but the streaming counts every time you every time you listen. If you listen to that thing a hundred times in a week, that is going to count towards the band's streams, and it just helps grow the band. Whereas an MP3 download, not not so much. So that's what we push for. Um, so uh, I'll keep this short, but if you wouldn't mind going over here to this link, pre-save it, and then follow the band on Spotify and uh, save the song to any one of your playlists. Um, we would really appreciate that. It, it makes a it makes a big difference. And um, we're just very grateful to have you guys here listening in the first place. So uh, thanks a lot. Have a wonderful day. And um, I can't wait for you guys to hear this song. It's, it's, it's so fun. And uh, I think you're really going to enjoy it. It's going to be another one of those uh, classic songs that you just add to your value collection. So thank you guys very much. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you tonight on my channel, Howie Spangler, uh, for let's hang out. I'll be playing songs. I'm going to play the new song and uh, a bunch of others. So come chill. All right. See you tonight. 9 PM Eastern.